Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. So in this video, we will see some of the domains that are explicitly related to oncology studies. So basically there are three domains, TU, TR and RS, but we will see a way or approach to how to easily remember these domains and what content is stored in these domains. So in every oncology trial, a subject would be scanned using MRI, CT or other methods like X-ray to check for the presence of tumors in their body. So which is nothing but identification of the tumors. And then those identified tumors will be measured at different time points. And at each different time point based on the measurements, so we will check whether the subject is responding or not and what the response is. So all the tumors identified will be generally classified as target lesions or non-target. So for target lesion, if a, for a tumor to be called a target lesion, so the diameter of that tumor should be measurable. And uh, if the diameter is not measurable, that can be classified as a non-target. But uh, if we are using a guideline like RESIST, which is nothing but response evaluation criteria in solid tumors, so there is a limit on how many number of maximum uh, target lesions can be selected as target lesions. So that number is five lesions can be selected as target lesions at the max in the whole body. And there is a sub restriction per organ. So wherein we can only select a max of two lesions per organ for within each organ to be uh, classified as target. So if there are more than uh, five lesions or two, more than two lesions per organ, so only this uh, upper bound uh, two per organ and five per body can be selected as target and rest all lesions can be considered as non-target lesions. So under identification, so what we happen is like every tumor identified will be given a unique number within the study. And that generally the target lesions will be identified with some numbers like T01, T02, etc. And non-target lesions will be identified with a numbers like NT01, NT02, etc. And these target lesions and non-target lesions will be measured across different time points uh, after giving treatment or uh, once during screening period so that there that can be considered as baseline and for target lesions the measurements will be like the diameter of each lesion and the sum of diameters of all target lesions. So these are some of the commonly uh, seen measurements. The diameter of each individual target lesion and the sum of diameters of all the target lesions. And non-target lesions will be checked only for whether they are present or absent during the course of the treatment. So the information is like present or absent whether a particular, they'll check whether the non-target tumor uh, is completely removed during the course of the treatment or if it is still present or not. So it's kind of yes or no present or absent information will be collected. And under responses, so for e, the response would be classified based on the whether the tumors are target or non-target response tumors. So we have, we'll have a response for target lesions, so which we call as target response and the response of non-target lesions will be called as non-target response. So based on the combination of these two responses, we will have the overall response for treatment within the subject. So we have target response, non-target response and overall response. So now we have seen three distinct components. One is identification of the tumors, measurements of those tumors, and the responses of the tumors at target and non-target level and at study level. Uh, and that information we is we are calling it as assessing response. So there are three SDTM domains to store the relevant information of identification, measurement, and response. So the first thing is identification of tumors. 
So the tumor identification numbers are stored in a domain called TU. Okay, and then we have a second domain which is used to store the measurements of the tumors. So that domain is TR domain. And then we have a third domain which is used to store the responses and that is called RS domain. So in TU domain, so we have a variable called TU link ID to store the, let me put it at the bottom. So we have a variable called TU LNK ID to store the unique number given to each tumor, whether it can be T01, T02 and T01 and T02. And in the result variable, we indicate whether that number identified in TU link ID is a target tumor or non-target tumor. And the TR, we have the commonly seen test series are diameter and the sum of diameter and the result is stored in that original result variable and the standard result unit variables. So sum of diameters and under uh, for non-target so we have seen that we have a variable we have a test CD called tumor state which is used to capture whether the tumor is present or absent in the original result variable. Under RS we have test CDs which is used to capture the target response and non-target response and overall response OVRLRESP is the test CD which is used to capture the information related to the overall response. So we'll have the tumors identified and that information will be stored in TU domain and the measurements related to the individual tumors will be stored in TR domain and the response assessment for target tumors and non-target tumors and the overall will be stored in RS domain. So these are the three oncology specific SDTM domains and we now have seen how to uh, easily remember these things and what content will be stored in these three domains. Hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching and keep learning.